hi guys welcome to gusto reactions once again thank you so much for always liking sharing subscribing telling your friends about what we do right here at gusto tv thank you so so much today i've got lala in the building and of course there's something that is really really bothering me i mean i've had to ponder over it over and over again what exactly is the issue what is happening with Tiwa Savage and the recent outburst with Nigerian media. Well, hello guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hello guys. Hello guys. <laughs> so the thing with Tiwa, right? Mm. Now, um, I don't know. She's for a while now. She's felt Nigerian media is not on her side, mm -hmm. and uh, she feels underappreciated, or maybe there's a certain standard that they've set for her that she's not following. But she's she's just not in the mood. The Nigerian media mm -hmm. and it's not just it's not just her like a lot of Nigerian artists they don't they don't regard Nigerian media for what it is like you they, think so yeah I feel the the I mean the same thing for media would do on, on Nigerian artists uh, the one is for media they take it as whole and they they hype it up and like it's the best thing since sliced bread but if a Nigerian media tries to do that or does that for them they ignore they ignore turn a blind eye so I mean not has had issues I mean especially this year with Nigerian media before mm -hmm. the album drop, even mm -hmm. after the album drop, she still feels she's been underappreciated or she's been unfairly treated. She, mm -hmm. She's created that narrative, even well, when the album drop, she created a narrative as, herself. Mm -hmm. and she pondered upon, I mean, she did the same thing when this issue came up, when Time Magazine chose Celia as um, one of the best projects this year. Yeah, I think that was one of the things that caused the whole thing. Now, mm -hmm. um, Time Magazine yeah. picked Celia as one of the top 10 albums that dropped in the world yeah. for the year 2020 now that is really 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 massive yes Pana boy missed out on that one whiskey they even missed out on that one david missed out and they picked to us have it <laughs> now coming on twitter to say oh i really really appreciate you know time magazine for recognizing me yeah and of course she had to throw a jab at the local media yes. on that one saying a prophet is not recognized in his hometown mm -hmm. now when did this whole issue tiwa savage local media when did it start well i think it started i mean maybe before the album i mean they were trying to do a lot of things for the album but they didn't do as much for the album like they did for 49.99 mm -hmm. right but when that came up then she i mean the week the album came out or a week before it came out mm. she was already throwing jobs at local media calling media houses including one i work for as a, <laughs> as a sexist <laughs> platform mm -hmm. she was she was like she already created like a war i don't know if she thought it was a good pr move mm. but then it, it wasn't because she was already throwing jabs at at the local media and mm. calling them sexist calling them all sort of names so that alone and um, there was already crack in the relationship between tua savage and mm. local media yeah and it had its, its, its effects when the album dropped mm -hmm. and reviews were starting to come out now talking about the recent one that happened mm -hmm. um with um, an editor with uh, one of the uh, blogs yeah so so that particular one now um i mean when the time i mean you can appreciate the time magazine for what they've done mm -hmm. and, and keep it moving you don't necessarily have to throw jabs but mm -hmm. she wanted to throw jabs she wanted war and that was what she got and unlucky for her the editor of the blog <laughs> didn't have nice things to say about her uh there are truths and there are bitter truths. I mean, mm -hmm. in as much as the guy might have had some facts and some bitter truths, mm -hmm. he came about it the wrong way and he had some unnecessary references to her age, uh, I mean, how she has chosen to live her life and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Nobody really cares how she wants to live mm -hmm. her life. But you know, the society in Nigeria would always point figures and say blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But no one really, she can do what she wants. She's, she's a grown woman, regardless of her age. But that article came out, it came out hateful. Mm. If I could use that word, it came out hateful. But then there, there are points in there. The point is, these platforms that are giving guns or they are recommending and pushing, they can be paid for. Mm. They can be influenced because of our international deal and because they are affiliated to all these platforms. The way media houses work over there, you have labels. They are now have strategic media points radio tv the affiliates of the whole organization so if they want to push the artists they're going to use their assets mm. so using time magazine is an asset it's an asset for the for the labor so they even if it's pr but yes it's good pr but then she could have just accepted 
what um, Time Magazine. Mm. I mean, just accept without throwing jabs, without throwing jabs and leaving less sleeping dogs like But mm. that now prompted a whole lot. I mean, the article, as comprehensive as it may have been, giving references to why some of these platforms are ignorant when it comes to Afrobeat, which is a fact. These platforms sometimes they have regarded not saying time in particular but forming platforms <laughs> have regarded whiskey as a rapper before yeah they regarded nice. nice as a rapper before <laughs> so are these the kind of people who are now going to say they are the authority when it comes to alphabet when they are partly ignorant of mm. what alphabet is about yeah it's the guys back home who have been there from the ground up from from mm-hmm. the beginning mm-hmm. those are the ones who can be an authority but it's unfortunate that those guys now are at war with your savage yeah yeah lala do you think that mm. the whiskey and Tiwa Savage, you know, public, you call it relationship <laughs> or whatever they had at that time. Yeah. You think it was part, you know, of what caused this whole because a lot of local media actually bashed that at that time for saying, Oh, this guy was younger than you or he's yeah. younger than you or something. Mm-hmm. You think she took it, you know, likely at that time? But I don't think it was actually local media that first bashed. It's first of all the the fans, mm-hmm. the music lovers, I mean the not ordinary Nigerian who saw what happened at that period were the ones who were doing the bashing. It wasn't really media. But they reported it. Re- media reported it. It's their job to report anything. Mm-hmm. But the people's reaction had to be reported as well, and they did. They just did what they had to do, and it's not it's not their fault for reporting it. Tiwa had decided to go that out with a whiskey, with the issue that she had mm-hmm. with with um with T bills uh, with T bills, knowing that T uh, what's it called whiskey is fine we, mm-hmm. we, we know now in the today's world age is nothing but the number blah, blah. but we know in nigeria like things like that are, is being found upon a lot a lot yeah kudos to people like that till today people don't really know his wife is older than him mm-hmm. but he's not made it an issue and they live lived a happy life mm-hmm. but tiwa had gone on to from a divorce to mess now with whiskey and whiskey coming in public disrespecting her body in public mm. it didn't see that with a lot of people whether you have still a supporter or not, it still does not seem right. Mm. At the end of the day, she's not really messing with whiskey like that. So what was all that stunt for in mm-hmm. the first place? It looks like that, and that was really, those were the things the editor was pointing out. It was pointing out that she that was a wrong move. But the thing is about bitter truth, you don't always have to be the one to say it. People know, like mm. people already know that yes, it was a wrong move. You're you're trying to use whiskey fan base and things like that. People already know that fact. But the guy now comp- he did like a report. Of all the wrong moves that they have made and now made it public it mm-hmm. now sounded like a hateful like a hateful like a like a, like a, it sounded like hate speech That's what so it don't like. you think that Tiwa is being fairly on you know fairly treated you don't think she's being uh, unfairly treated rather and um, if, if she's there been, is an agenda against her if there's an agenda if she's being f- um, fairly treated is because of the uh, the, f- the work that she has created she has started a one a narrative with the form uh, with the local media local media so why why would why would she have gone that way there's no way you can win first you called local media some of the local media sexist platforms mm-hmm. now you have called local media people who don't appreciate you like you're only appreciated outside of nigeria mm-hmm. that's what that's what you've said but she thinks that as a female artist yeah. you know you need to work five ten hundred times as hard mm-hmm. you know more like harder than you know the male artist you know and maybe because she feels that a lot of local media mm. actually try to pinpoint the male artist much more than the female artist mm. no i don't think sh- and well, then the city in, FM in, interview in some okay the city FM interview is more of a a female issue mm-hmm. like we know female always have issues with each other mm-hmm. and that was just a pointer that even if the if there are female who have been in the game they they tend to lean towards the guys more than the females like OAP, you really see an OAP who is all about women empowerment or saying, oh, I want to push a female artist out there, I want to help. Even the female artists themselves, they're not about that business. Mm-hmm. So that's a point of more of a female to female issue. So when it comes to things, uh, for example now, Tiwa's um, war with local media that makes her feel she's unfairly treated, she could have gone a different route. She could mm-hmm. have just kept the blind eye, I mean, let the music speak for itself. I mean, months later, people are now saying, oh, Sila is actually not a bad album. That's already that's already a, an indictment on the album. Like yes, you did create something that was solid. Just because it wasn't appreciated when it was released doesn't mean it's still not going to be appreciated. And she could have just said, "Time magazine, thank you so much for this honor. I really appreciate mm. it. I kept it moving." But she, the war, she's not going to win the war. No, I, I just kind of think like yeah. you know, Tiwa 
has a lot to say, like she has a lot to say mm. about local media she has a lot maybe because maybe there is actually there's been like a spate of events that has happened yes and that she just couldn't she can't bring herself to actually reveal everything online so she just drops those subliminals one after the other mm -hmm. but then how does this issue get resolved before we go how does it get resolved what does she have to do yes stop fighting local media you can't win you can you need local media support because they don't change we already, already see her as someone who has created that wall already so how do we break this wall between tiwa sabe and the local media the ones that mess with her keep on messing with her even us at gusto at one point mm -hmm. we were known as tiwa people yeah right yeah they're not one episode of something that was tiwa haters now we're tiwa haters <laughs> so you see how it is you, mm -hmm. you just have to not talk, you, don't, you don't have to pay attention to every tiny little thing mm -hmm. that comes around about you. Mm -hmm. Like you can just turn a blind eye to negativity and events that is positive, hold on to mm -hmm. that and push it. I mean, there are platforms who vote for Tiwa mm -hmm. on a daily. Definitely. Keep with those ones. Don't try to fight or put a war between you and, and Nigeria media. <laughs> You're not going to win. You're not going to win. And it's just sad. It's sad because she has chosen to go that route. Mm -hmm. Still smiting local media. Mm -hmm. In as much as we can say that article was 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 hateful mm -hmm. but there are facts on there nigerians artists need to take uh, local media as important because mm -hmm. when local media does things like uh, uh, bring up facts or figures about uh, who is the hottest they, don't, this, they don't rate they feel it's it's, it's always is always hit there or something 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 but when the foreign media comes and use some sort of whatever it is, that's the problem with Nigerians. We always take Konyibo things seriously than our own. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. It's a war right now between Tiwa Savage and the Nigerian media, the local media. Tiwa is currently on a roll, trying to give it to everybody hot, hot. If you come our way, she's going to give it to wahala you. for you. We, wahala for who? We I, that, we, we we jam tiwa for who do? Wahala for who jam tiwa for who? Yeah. Tiwa is currently not happy with the Nigerian media because of a couple of things. And of course, she has said that it is not about the fact that she's not happy with Nigerian media, but she was talking to the that she's happy that she yeah, yeah, the particular people know you know themselves and everything. But and of course, I think something personal might happen because apparently the guy interviewed. Huh. Yeah, he wanted maybe, pictures. Maybe that, didn't, maybe that didn't go. That didn't well. go well. Yeah, that didn't so go it's well. It's just vendetta, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but of course, she also does not like you know on another platform. So it's, it's it's a case of she not really appreciating a couple of Nigerian media houses. Of course, how does this issue get resolved? Is Tiwa being treated fairly or not? Like, what has she done to? get into this kind of position with the nigerian media let us know how this issue can also get resolved guys thank you so much for always liking sharing subscribing telling everyone about gospel tv we love you and we'll see you on the next reactions peace